Hello, everybody. Welcome to another edition of Sector 5. I am your host, Cody Heinzman, as always. And today, it's Friday. Smackdown is just finished. And this Sunday is time for Money in the Bank. One of the most hardest pay-per-views to predict or just give my opinions on. But I'm going to try it because I'm doing really good with this New Year's resolution. I have not missed one yet. Also, just another added, can't wait for the return of Kofi Kingston, which should be a few weeks from now. Uh, so let's begin this Sunday at Money in the Bank, the pre-show. And now they're calling it the kickoff. We have the Usos. Usos! Woo! Versus the Shield for the tag team titles. Uh, the Usos, with their lineage being the sons of Rikishi, I see them having a good chance against the Shield, and I see that this title doesn't want to cooperate. But I can see the Usos. <coughs> taking it, but there's also the fact that I see Dean Ambrose getting involved. So I'm giving the match to the Usos, but there's a good chance that the Shield's going to win. On to the next match that I am predicting of the night. It is Chris Jericho versus Ryback. After tonight's performance and two weeks ago's performance, Ryback with that knee injury, which it looks real. It could possibly be real. Because after looking, actually looking at that knee, I mean, you can see something's wrong there. So, uh, I truly believe that Chris Jericho is going to take out, take out Ryback this Sunday at Money in the Bank. On to the next match, we have the Divas Champion, AJ versus Challenger, Caitlyn. Caitlyn's focused. Uh, she is more focused on this than anything. Uh, <coughs> I truly, I'm giving the match to Caitlyn. All the mind games that AJ can play and everything's not there anymore in the back of her head. So, um, right now I see Caitlyn having no problem in taking back the title from AJ. AJ really has no edge over Caitlyn like she did at the last pay-per-view. So, I'm predicting Caitlyn to win that one, and that's who I want to win. On to the next match of the night. We have Intercontinental Champion Curtis Axel facing... The Miz for the title. Uh, Curtis Axel's had a bad few matches this last time, losing to Chris Jericho both times. And he's going a little ballistic. But with the lineage of... The fact that Paul Heyman is there beside him is... A factor in this. Um, do I? Th I believe the Miz could take it, but I don't think it's gonna happen. I truly believe that Curtis Axel is gonna walk out of Money in the Bank still Intercontinental Champion. Uh, I want the Miz to win it because I'm still, you know, little still think he deserves it after like holding it for less than or around 24 hours after Wrestlemania <coughs> but then that's that's just my thoughts on that match uh, next we have the world heavyweight ladder match where we have Dean Ambrose, Wade Barrett, Cody Rhodes, 
Damian Sandow, Fondongo, Antonio Cesaro, and Jack Swagger. Personally, with this one, I am really torn, because who do I want to win this? I don't know! Personally, I'm not a big fan of any of the competitors in there. But if I'm truly to look at all the competitors and everything, I see Dean Ambrose taking it. Possibly the Shield will come out and give him a little assistance or something. And with the fact that Cody Rhodes and Damian Sandow, tag team, Antonio Cesaro, Jack Swagger, tag team, they're going to be working together trying to get the title, but if they ever go up the ladder trying to get it at the same time, they're going to have that moment of which one of us goes after it and someone else will capitalize and not probably knock the ladder down or will pull one of them off the ladder and <laughs> end up winning. But truly, with everything that's going on, all the controversy between the other six, Dean Ambrose has not been around any of it. And I, I truly believe he has the edge over all of them. So, that's my prediction. I'm going to go with the S.H.I.E.L.D. member, Dean Ambrose, to win that match. Who do I, I still don't have a person who I personally want to win this. Uh, so, that's the end of that one. And now, we are going with the WWE Champion ladder match. We have... CM Punk, Randy Orton, Sheamus, Daniel Bryan, Christian, and Rob Van Dam. Okay, once again, who do I want to win this? I don't know because I'm personally a big fan of every person that's in that match. Um... Uh, I feel like I have the opinion that I don't want certain people to win it because I don't want them to go to heel again because I find them awesome. Like Seamus and Orton, I'd hate to see them go heel again. Uh, who do I think is going to win it? It's a mix between... Daniel Bryan, Rob Van Dam, and CM Punk. CM Punk's just returning. Rob Van Dam is making a comeback. And Daniel Bryan, he's been on a momentous run this week. Throughout these few months before Money in the Bank. He's made Randy Orton tap beat Sheamus last week and made Christian tap just tonight on SmackDown. So he's riding a big wave of momentum. But it's a ladder match. Oh! And for those who may not know, just throwing this in there, Kane, thanks to the Wyatt family, is no longer involved in the Money in the Bank ladder match. That is why I did not bring his name up, if anyone is wondering why I did not throw out Kane's name. He was a big part. I was, would have been glad if he would have won that. Uh, because I truly feel that the heel is Kane. He is a, like, a good heel. I like him as being heel, just as long as he's not going after someone I'm really... He's a good, like, bad guy. He's a good bad guy. Whenever he's going after, you know, people like Ziggler or uh, the Shield and all that. Not when he would potentially go after Kofi. <coughs> uh, so, 
who do I want to win it? Um, I'm a big... I'm rooting for Seamus. Because I feel like if Seamus wins it, he would possibly, or maybe not, do what Cena did last year. And give a week's notice or something. Uh... Maybe. I, I, I could be wrong on that, but I just feel like there's a good chance that it could happen. But, uh, that's my predictions on that one. Now, on to the next title match. While talking about all the Money in the Bank ones, we have Alberto Del Rio, current champ World Heavyweight Champion, versus Dolph Ziggler for the title. Um... Personally, I think Del Rio's gonna retain, but I'm not really interested in the match. I know on my last uh, predictions, I was like, yeah, Del Rio won, but he didn't stay in the same attitude. His attitude changed, and I, I can't support the attitude. Do I... Del Rio is, is a good competitor when he wants to be. But now that he's went back to his heel, he's going to go back to that uh, running away stage and everything. So, and Dolph Ziggler, even though he looks like he's trying to change the heel, I, I'm, I'm not going to ever support Ziggler. Uh... So, this one away title match, I could care less who holds the title. I'm looking more forward to see... Actually, I can't even say that, because even whoever wins the World Heavyweight Championship ladder match, I don't like any of them either. So, for a while, the World Heavyweight Championship is going to be irrelevant to me. Uh... Finally, we have the WWE title match. John Cena versus Mark Henry for the WWE Championship. Now, here we go. The one thing I don't like about Money in the Bank is after someone wins the Money in the Bank, it makes doing these predictions a little complicated. As you've seen, whenever uh, I would do the predictions with Dolph Ziggler still holding the money in the bank, you got to try and think of that factor. The WWE, money in the bank. Uh, John Cena faces Mark Henry. There's a, I can see John Cena retaining it. But now I have to look at the factor of who wins the Money in the Bank ladder match. I feel like the majority, like Randy Orton's done said, if he wins it, he's going to cash in. When there's a chance. And even he said he would do it that night. So there is that chance that whoever wins that Money in the Bank ladder match will end up leaving Money in the Bank as the champion. I know it's only happened once with Kane, <coughs> but it all depends on how much they go through during that match. All these men... Well, I'd hate to say besides Daniel Bryan and maybe Christian would potentially cash in later that night because of their, their build. And their want to hold, hold the title. So, I'm giving the match to Cena. But there's a good chance that Money in the Bank, Cena's not going to walk out as the champion after beating Mark Henry. Uh, so, there's my take on Money in the Bank. I know... I do a lot of rambling and 
all that stuff, but as I said at the beginning, Money in the Bank has to be one of the hardest pay-per-views, along with uh, Royal Rumble, to try and throw out the idea of the predictions. I always say I try to look at the aspect of what possibly the show is going to go and do. Uh, and I also just try and throw my own little personal opinion on the matter as well. Uh, this pay-per-view has to be not just Money in the Bank in general, but this Money in the Bank has to, will most likely be the hardest one for me to predict because there's so many things and factors that are different. Usually in the Money in the Bank ladder matches, there's those few people that I don't like, and then the one or two people I like, but they had to go and mess with us and put a whole bunch of all-stars that everyone likes and will cheer on in one, and then a whole bunch of people that no one wants to cheer ever in their life. And the other. So, I feel like th this is maybe the last time I have the most difficult time with Money in the Bank. I really hope it is. Uh, like always, I'd like to see what you guys' predictions are. Uh, so if you want to leave a video response or write in the comments below what you feel is going to go down. And like always, I'm Cody Heinzman, and that's just how it is. See ya.